Hey guys. Oh, today I want to do my first aid kit that I keep in my um, bug out bag. I had it in another container, but my buddy sent me this um, this pouch, and this is a killer pouch. I, I, I like this pouch. It holds a lot. It's roomy, and um, yeah, I like it. It's maybe a couple pounds. Let's get getting this going here. First, some moist wipes for cleaning the wound. You know, antibacterial for cleaning the room, the wound. Sorry, I'm tired, guys. Um, let's see. An ace bandage. A um, maxi pad if you get um, a deep cut put that over there and put the ace bandage or tape it and it helps stop you know it'll soak up the blood and if there's a female in your group and she runs out there's an extra one for her this um, q-tips for cleaning a wound, for cleaning your ears, because you want to keep your ears clean, because a buildup of earwax can cause an ear infection. You know, um, keeping clean is is very important. Um, another roll of tape, made a roll of tape. This stuff right here, I buy this at the Dollar Tree. It's a pain relief bomb. It's a little bottle. But this stuff goes a long way. It's glass, and because um, you're going to be sore, you're going your legs, your feet, your ankles, your knees, your back, shoulders, and you're going to have to have something to, you know, help. Yes, it does smell, but you know it's a buck, and it works great for me. Uh, another roll of tape. Some hand sanitizer. You know, if you get little cuts on your hands, you can always clean it. Clean it with this to save your medical. And it, you know, and I can use this for a fire starter as well. Um, little pack of those round um, makeup removers that you could be used for an eye patch. Or I can put some um, hand sanitizer on here as a fire starter. Tampon. If you get a puncture wound, you get shot, something like that, you can stick it in and help control the bleeding. Or again, if there's a female in a group and she runs out, she's got an extra one. You can barter to them. Um, bottle of generic Tylenol like I said this this thing is slap full a military field dressing kit I mean field dressing bandage this has about I want to say about eight pairs of gloves there's some tape in there and about five masks, you know, blood, keep the blood off of you if you're dealing with somebody else's wound. There's a gauze. Um, I get this stops bleeding at Walmarts. So you get two, two packs of this for um, $4.96, so... I've got two packs in there, and this, right, I'm trying to open this up. This has got all kinds of different size band-aids in there, you know. There are about probably 30 band-aids of different sizes in there. A little shiny 
fingernail grooming kit, if you want to call it that. Tweezers for taking splinters and ticks off. Uh, nail clippers, file, you know, for a buck. Can't go wrong. Try to scoop some of this down. There we go. Um, here, I have um, some throat lovagers for sore throat, um, some anti-diarrhea pills, some Benadryl, some um, generic NyQuil for colds, and I've got two packs of Tylenol in there. Um, a snake bite, just a simple snake bite kit. And yes, there are going to be people saying, oh, you need... In order to survive, you need anti-venom to counter-react the snake bite. Well, in a SHTF situation, where are you going to get anti-venom for a snake bite? Mm, you're probably not. So, having some kind of snake bite kit, and see, this is a small generic version. I've got another one in the family survival you know, first aid kit. It's got actual the sucker that you stick on there and you pull it out you know you you pull the tube out and it sucks the venom out um, this along with Benadryl is going to up your chances of making it because you're getting the venom most of the venom out of you and you're taking something to counter react the venom because no, we're not going to have anti-venom. But this is better than having nothing at all. So, that puts that to rest. Um, here, I have a mirror. Sutures. Medical shears. And a can opener. Fingernail polish remover. You know, I like carrying this more than I do a bottle of rubbing alcohol. This, if you get in, I use this right here if I get into poison sumac. You know, poison ivy and oak, I'm really not allergic to, but if you get if you get me around sumac, oh man, it, it, you know, it's bad. So this stuff, you rub that on and um, it will help with um, um, drying up poison ivy, poison sumac, stuff like that. If you get a cut, pour it on here. If you get athlete's foot, feet, you can scrape the, the bad fungus stuff off and pour this on your feet. Yes, you're going to scream and holler, but it helps. Yes, it has acetone in it. It could be bad, but it's to me, this is better than rubbing alcohol. Um, and plus I can use this as a fire starter um, Pepto-Bismol you're going to your, your stomach's going to get tore up you're going to get diarrhea you're going to eat something bad you're going to drink something you're going to drink some bad water something like that that's a no-brainer and last but not least um, I've got two triple antibiotics ointments in here, some uh, eye drops because you're going to get stuff in your eyes, um, some anti-itch cream, and this right here, this other one, I've never heard of anybody putting it in their pack, but um, you're going to need it. You might not think it, you're going to need it, you know, but hemorrhoid cream. Because you're going to be carrying extra, if you have to bug out, you're going to be carrying extra gear that you're not used to carrying on you. You're going to be walking longer ways. You're going to be pushing or pulling a cart. You're going to be on a bike pedaling for a long time. You're going to be sitting on hard, cold rough surfaces you're going to put a strain on your body and what happens 
a hemorrhoid's going to pop out. You know, it could, you know, I hear people giggling and laughing right now. Oh, hemorrhoid, I wouldn't put that in my first day. When you get a hemorrhoid and you're out in the middle of the swamps or the mountains or the desert, or if you have to walk out of a city and you're on a, on a highway in the middle of nowhere and you get a hemorrhoid, you won't be giggling. You're going to be wishing, oh, damn, I wish I would have packed me some hemorrhoid medicine because hemorrhoids are mean mothers. So, I know, I work construction. I lift heavy stuff. Everybody, you know, if you, you're going to get them, no matter what. You, you will get them, especially in an SHTF situation. You'll get them. So, you know, people can giggle and laugh, but um, when their butthole's on fire and they're hurting, they can't sit down, they ain't going to have it. I'm going to have, I'll have mine. But um, that's it. And that's a, like I said, that's a big, that's a big pouch. You know, that's a, it fits a lot in here um i'm thinking about putting some more benadryl in here and some more anti-diarrhea in here probably another pack you know little sleeve each and um, but i should i think i got everything pretty well covered um, tell me what you think what would you add what would you take away but um, I'm going to get off here. Everybody, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.